Hello, and welcome back to Ascendant with Bearded Narwhal, also known as Ben. And let's get started tonight. Now, I lost two runs last night, but it was also much later in the evening. And, uh, well, I guess <laughs> technically it was morning since it was past midnight for me, but that's besides the point. Let us play Memnon. I haven't in a while. Mainly because he has terrible blessing slots, but I feel like that's okay on this run because we can't pick up blessings and maybe starting out with five health will help us out a great deal, so because we haven't been very lucky on finding health upgrades. Alright, there we go. Okay. You're still alive somehow, okay. Oh man, we've already found the chest, and we have a key. Okay, the Breath of Agony isn't super useful, but I guess if we fight Son of Grunty, I'll be glad to have it. Just because I like to damage down Son of Grunty as fast as possible. I don't think it's actually possible to put him into a, uh, a state of invincibility. Wow, that was an entire room of just flies. Unexpected. Oh, that influence is very nice. Alright, so... Is there anything in this wall? Not that I can get, at least. Okay, maybe if we get a spirit on this floor somehow, we can come back and try to check it out. Okay, oop. This was a very, very easy floor, so hopefully it continues in that respect. Oh, it is Son of Grunty. Alright. Hopefully on the next floor, we can get more of, like, a permanent damage upgrade or something like that. Like a better weapon of sorts. Okay, come on, explosions. Get him a little more. Okay. That's okay. Just over half of his health. Excellent. Oh man, so close. Next time he comes down, we should be able to finish him off. It should be now, I think. Nice. We don't check that chest because we can't pick up Blessing, so we just leave. Ugh. Popped my neck there. Alright, late spring. So, I'm excited to beat this game. I don't know when it'll happen. But I'm excited to go back to just playing it. Maybe I can beat it with, uh... Our last... Demigod? I don't really want to beat it with him. Because he's kind of the most boring hero to me, <laughs> but... Alright, let's check this event room. Oh, that's awesome. We're gonna stop there. Alright. So we got lucky. We doubled our influence. And we resisted trying again so that we could keep our influence. Nice, okay. So we actually have enough for both of these rooms. Oh my god, they gave us like four... They gave us five keys for that. That's pretty awesome. That's one of the better benefits I've ever gotten from that. 
If it robbed me of all my influence, I would have been pissed. Oh, man. Okay. What does the thief do? Lock picking. I mean, sure. We have a uh, full heart out on the field, so really... Well, I guess it's a, a three-fourths of a heart. If you want to be technical about it. But, uh... Kind of makes that... <laughs> that chest kind of worthless, but... It makes it so that if we find the Keyblade later, we don't spend extra keys. Alright, so there's a new weapon. Doubles our damage. Lowers our swing speed by 0.1... Nope, by 0.8. I get... My math is... Correct. Yeah, 0 0.8. 0 0.08. Yeah. And then, I don't mind getting rid of the 2% blessing chance, because we don't have blessings. Uh... 4% crit chance is what we're gaining, and a chance on weapons and spell hits to convert flies to our side. So I'm I'm down with that. I can deal with a uh, slower swing time. That is really slow, though. Alright. Alright, more keys. Nice. Alright. There you go. Wow. Okay. We leave the floor. That was eventful, to say the least. We now have lockpicking. We have enough influence to visit the shop. And uh, if even if there's like an orange item in the shop, we can buy it. That's pretty good. I've been really disappointed with the blood shops lately. Like before, all of the blood shops would contain orange weapons, but that was, of course, only during the runs where we couldn't pick up weapons. And now that we can pick them up, they're not showing up at all. So it's the way. Luck can be sometimes, though. Oh, health upgrade. Oh, okay, we did it. Have a heart of healing. Five percent spell damage is nice. Oh, looks like we actually did end up killing the correct pot. Ooh. Come on. Every single enemy in one pit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Over here, please give us something good. Okay, Shotkey Valley volley. It's another turret spell. Here's to finding the twig, right? <laughs> My god, that would be so good. Give us the twig. Quickly, stagger damage. I'll take it. Okay. 
Event room. Survive the onslaught. No! Alright, let's just keep doing that. We should be okay. Nice. Coming over here? No? Oh, wow. Nice jump. Ooh. Okay, speed up. It's better than nothing. And let's go up. I guess we're almost to the end of the floor since there's, like, nothing left. Okay. Oh. Thank you. I was gonna say, please die. So, it gave us eight keys over the course of this run, and we can't use any of them. I guess technically it gave us nine, since we used one on that event. Oh. Spirit of the Seeker? Spell homing. Yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. Let's pick that up. And we can't pick that up, so we leave. Hopefully we can recoup all the mana that... All the uh, influence, rather, that we spent there. Alright, so what we do... Oh my god, Memnon has so little mana. Oh. Wow, their eggs deal so much damage to them. Destroyed the X without seeing what was in that chest. Alright. Ugh. I don't know what it is, but I'm really, like, tense during this run. I feel like it counts. got a sniper on our hands. Nice. Okay. So, we almost have enough influence to visit the next shop. Let's see what's in this. We definitely have enough influence to visit the next shop. Wonderful. Oh, max mana is so nice when we have such an expensive spell. We only have 50 mana, and that costs 35, I think? Yeah, I think so. Nope. Hold on. Yeah, I can't tell on that screen. Let's fight our boss now while we have so much health. It is the automaton. Hopefully our uh, shot, shot, Shakti volley will be able to deal enough. 
But now it looks like our damage is slightly lacking. Unless we can keep up those parries, in which case we'll be okay. Oh man, that was a good one. One more should do it. Wow. Shakti volley really pulled its weight during that fight. Spell homing is awesome with this. Five percent spell damage is awesome when you hit as many times as I do. Anything? Nope. Okay. So you've got Spirit of the Brave. Blessing on hit chance and damage up. You know, at this point of the game, I should really know what that one does. Seriously. <laughs> I even knew it was Memdon, so I just couldn't think of what it was. Alright, so we at least have um, an event room, I guess. Fly, take him out. Nope, he's dead. Okay, so that guy killed himself eventually, and we can take out. There we go. Boom. Man, more stagger. Really? That was one of my worst fights against those guys. Although I didn't exactly expect, you know, four of them. Okay, what is this? It deals 40 more damage. Wow, okay. It deals... Three more stagger damage. It's down 0.01 swing time. It has a 3% higher chance to deal critical damage. It gives me increased mana regen and increased run speed. I'm down for that. So now I can cast those more often. And the 150 damage is super nice. Okay. Nice. Extra key for no reason. I guess we've been able to afford all the shops after we bought, like, the useless like, spirits I have, so I guess it's not a huge deal. Because right now, I kind of count the uh, lockpicking one as useless, seeing how many keys we've gotten over this run. But, you know, I had no idea. I had no way of knowing that they dropped this many. Okay, our run speeds up, but our jump is not. Not something I'm used to. Whoop. And, oh man, we already defeated our boss. We did that a while ago, I guess. Alright. So, oh, we're going to fall. I thought we were going into late summer. We're only 20 minutes in. <laughs> this is actually a super fast run for this. Alright. Just don't lose it. Oh. 
thought I was being so smart. Then they hit me. Oh my god, another key. I really need to get, like, the pack rat or something. The pack rat is the spirit that gives you armored health every time you pick up a key. Nice. Let's go ahead and go in here. We have lock picking, why not? Thank you for the massive increase to max health. Kamoho. Okay. Okay, are you guys gonna fail? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, Jailer's got a... Heal a heart after unlocking a locked door chest. Unfortunately, though that would synergize pretty well with our lock picking, I don't think it's good enough to get rid of our uh, huge amount of damage for a quarter heart. <laughs> Normally, I'd carry it along until we uh, unlock everything on the floor, but it looks like we've unlocked most of this floor anyway. Or I'm just lazy. I don't know. There we go. Getting really close to these. Oh, that's nice. Looks like we might actually max out Memnon's health this time. Ooh! Not sure what happened there. Alright. <laughs> We survived that, somehow. Well, not survived, we didn't get hurt somehow throughout that, I guess. Alright. There we go. Boom. Wonderful. Oh, more keys, huh? <laughs> if that weapon was heal every time you open a chest in general, I would totally pick it up because we'd heal after every room, but that's not the case. Nice. Okay, that went pretty well. <sighs> These gifts from the game. Okay. Oh man, missed that one. Wow. <laughs> Easiest way to deal with those guys? I think so. And now we have enough to visit the shop. Of course, like the most fire heavy one I've ever seen, misses entirely. <laughs> Alright, so here's a chest. Hey, it's Lee. Thanks for the armored hearts. That alone kind of makes this journey worth it. I don't know if we took more damage than two on the way there, honestly. <laughs> but I don't think we did. And thinking we did well is better than knowing that we didn't, so. <laughs> Oh, through the stage, huh? Alright. I guess we go down. Oh, 
Oh, get in there. Okay. Oh, nice. Kill himself. Jumped right onto the spikes for me. Okay, so Spirit of the Healer is actually super nice. I'm gonna pick that up. Armored health. Regular health. Nice. I'm honestly very surprised we had enough influence to do all of that on one floor. So, the healer. It increases the chance of drops of health from pots and chests. Now, that will, I think... I mean, it, it stands to logic that it would reduce the number of, like, influence drops. So, I don't know if we'll get paid very often, but... I mean, we're almost out of shops anyway, so... Okay, our damage is not great for Master Alchemist, but I think we have a pretty good chance of winning anyway. Okay. Okay. One more? What are you going to do now? Okay, so it's just going to be a free map when he's vulnerable. This is going to be a very long fight. Come on, Memnon. Nice. Whoop. Oh, look, health drop from one of their potheads. Which we immediately spent. Oh man, I should have just stayed under that pillar. Oh! Should have stayed under the platform. We snuck in a little bit of damage even though I wasn't paying attention. Alright. I wish you could duck in this game, it would just make me feel safer. Okay, that's not the last one. I was getting ready to shoot a shot keep out at him. Shakti. Really? Okay. Wow. I just wanted the freedom. Is this it? Nope, one more, it looks like. What are you gonna do? Okay. Ooh. Oh man, so close. Looks like one more should do it. We did a little bit of damage to him during that phase. Good enough. Oh, another health. Alright. Very good. Okay, one more then? Nice. Let's get out of here. One more season till winter. Hopefully we pick up a lot of good stuff on the way there. Late fall. Ooh, influence. <laughs> My voice cracked, I apologize for that. I didn't know it could still do that. Ooh. Just go ahead and stay down there. Yeah. Awesome. Keys. My favorite.
Very easy first couple of enemies. Good. Awesome. Let's keep moving at this momentum. We're gaining health as opposed to losing it, which is, you know, a positive. Normally about this time in the game, my health reserves that I've been carrying throughout the game start depleting. Nice. I guess it's just you and me now. Oh my god, more max health. Okay, so, our spell damage is 44 every time we hit someone with it. Each one of those deals 44 damage. Nice. And melee damage. What are we doing now? 158? I think that may have been our first melee damage upgrade. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Whoop. Alright. Oh my god. Wonderful. Let's go up to this event room, check it out. Loki, I'm sorry, but sorry, buddy. Don't want to go down there, that'd be bad. Woo! One over here. <laughs> max health. Getting closer and closer to uh, actually maxing our health out. Very surprising. There we are. Awesome. I knew after a while playing volleyball with him would uh, <laughs> knock him into the spikes. Okay. Gava, God of Destruction. Attacks no longer flinch you. Spells ignore shields. I'm gonna keep what we have. Mainly because of the mana regeneration. I feel like that is a very important skill that we can't forget. Nice. 10 influence. Another key. Always welcome, right? Okay, nothing special up there. Haven't seen our shop yet. I do think that we will have enough by the end of clearing out this floor. Can't believe we're actually healing as opposed to taking more damage. I guess we're not on winter yet, so don't get your hopes up. Okay, plus five more melee damage. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. So I guess we go down, then down again. Then over twice. I love that that's the extent of my commentary today. Today we take a left. I'm basically my own GPS while speaking to you guys. Oh. This game just takes a lot of mental focus for me, and uh, it kind of wipes away that part of my mind where I should be able to speak. <laughs> Alright. 
There's that. Oh man, that's that rendered that useless. Good stuff. Oh wow, he walked in by himself. There is a chest up there. I won't be able to get it unless it's the Spirit of Flight in here. Oh man, I shouldn't have gone in there yet. What's in here? Spirit of Feathers. Oh man, Living Spit is actually a pretty decent spell. Huh. Well, let's complete our last room, I guess. Or what seems to be our last room. There could be two rooms to its left. Nope, this is our last room. Okay, no influence. So that shop is um, ultimately useless for us. We didn't waste anything. We have lock picking, so our keys are infinite. You cannot overcome them. Man, oh man. The Hermit. Okay. I don't need more of this. Okay, I'm glad I picked up so much health on that floor, because we're going to need it. Okay, one more good go should do it. Man. I think this is the most damage I've ever taken on this version of the Hermit. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> That's probably a lie I just told you. I don't know. I, I feel like I've flopped harder against the Hermit before. Alright. Now the moment of truth is fighting the demigod. I actually don't think fighting Humbaba is that hard. So as so long as we make it to him, we'll be okay. Oh. That egg instantly killed him. Interesting. There we go, and... Nice. Can't afford this much damage. All that talk I did about healing on the last floor? Basically completely undone. Wow, that is a lot of health. There we go. Okay, this could be potentially be awesome or really bad. Is that it? Wow. And Spirit of the Maniac. Low health equals high damage. Oh, 243. That flips this run so hard. That is way better.
Man. That's incredible, actually. <laughs> Come on. Just because we get damage from health, just because we get, yeah, damage from low health doesn't mean we should actively attempt to get to low health, so let's try to stay as high health as possible. That way we can survive because, you know, staying alive is a good thing. Most people consider that a thing. I'm a large proponent of living. Oh, come on. Man. My focus is just somewhere else right now. There we go. Hopefully this shop will be able to help us out. We have 310 at this health, so I guess we are dealing massive damage now. Oh, the game minimized. Awkward. Alright. Spirit of the Divine. Get all weapon proficiencies. What's this do now? I don't know. I don't think it really changed anything. Ooh, we should come back for the Breath of Balor. Since this is our sec- uh, I don't know, maybe not. Valor can carry us through the entire demigod fight, but do we really want to waste our... Oh my god, we made our decision for us by not paying attention to where the boss room was. Wow. That was a very uh, fruitful Shakti blast. Wow. That was, uh, super eventful. <laughs> okay. I thought he was gonna be a lot harder than that. I was mistaken, I'm sorry. Let's finish this floor out. Okay. Thank you. That healing's nice. What I'm really looking for is the last chest. Because... If we get another chest, and it has an orange weapon in it, we basically win the game. If I play it right. I guess if it's the right chest. Ooh, health over here. Oh my god, pots. Thank you. Hey. Oh my god. Nice. Wonderful. At least we're healing up before the last stages. There will be plenty of health on the Astral. I don't know how we'll handle the Astral, but pretty excited to get there again. We do have to beat Late Winter though, so don't get don't get ahead of yourself, Ben. That was a crit. Surprised he didn't die, actually. There we go. Plus 5% melee damage. We now have 306 at this health. Okay, here's that chest. Nimble Hand of the Jailer. Nope. Okay. One more up. Nice, okay. Wow. That kills people so fast. 
Yeah, I can still parry. I'm not neglecting it. Okay, what is up here? Is there another event room or something? Oh, auto parry. Thank you, every weapon proficiency. And bleed. Oh, and we get reduced spell cost because that. That's why we can cast two all of a sudden. Nice. Okay, where are you? Did he, did he die? I guess we'll find out when we kill everyone. Yeah, he did die. Stagger damage. Ooh, there is an event room. Live in the present? Armored Heart. Okay. I forgot which one that was. I was really worried it was the Think About the Future one, which is, uh, it takes away all of your health, but it gives you a lot of max health slots. I guess that would be, like, super high risk, high reward for us right now, because we would get incredible damage out of it, but we would be, like, super glass cannony at the same time. Alright. On to late winter. Good stuff. Way further than I made it last night. I don't know what was up with me yesterday. Probably out of whack because of everything that was going on. I'm glad I didn't beat it, though. Ah, well, no. Okay. I had forgotten that YouTube actually fixed that video. Because, like, when I finished recording it, it did that thing where my computer couldn't read the file because something happened at the end of recording. And, well, I decided just to upload it to YouTube out of frustration and maybe it would sort itself out, and it did. YouTube knew how to handle the file, so... Thanks, YouTube. Okay, come on. Thank you. More keys. This might be our, like, world record key run. Like, how many keys can one man ha hold in his hands? Nice, okay. Let's finish off the bottom of this floor. Oh, she heard me. Damn it. Nice. We have plenty of influence to visit the shop, so I really, really hope it pays out with something awesome. Really, really. Okay, we got some health back. That's probably gonna help. <laughs> What's our damage now? We deal... Oh my god, we deal 166 per strike. That's incredible. Um, no wonder we're killing things so fast with that. Die. Who's alive? You. Oh, max health up. It heals us without actually lowering our damage because it didn't actually uh, decrease the amount of empty hearts we have, which is all that matters. It's not percentile, it's based off of. Well, it is a percentile, but it's a percentile based on how many missing hearts you have. Not on your total health. So that does lower our damage a little bit. But really, we have some squeeze room. <laughs> 
Nice. There is a chest up there. I'm gonna run back up. Womp. Oh. That ledge has a uh, little pivot on it. Alright. Oh my god, more max health. We just hit max. Wonderful. If any of you are named Max, I'm sorry for hitting you. Badoomch. Alright. So into... The late, late winter. This is advanced darkness. Nice, okay. Now that your shield's gone, who's gonna protect you, huh? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> More health. Nice. I guess we do have the healer, so I shouldn't be so surprised. Alright, we have a breath. It's not the best breath. It's breath, though. If this is... You hear buzzing? I'm going to be so happy I found this. Oh, this, is, this works, too. Should have saved it for the second round, it turns out. Nice. Okay. No. Okay. So that makes weapon proficiencies have a greater effect. However, I don't think that's, uh... Even though that does synergize with our all um, synergies. Not synergies. All of our weapon proficiencies, since we got that spirit that gives us all of them. I still don't think it's better than this weapon. The mana <laughs> regen is just so good on it. Ooh. Alright, this has to be another event room, right? Oh wait, we haven't found the shop on this floor yet. There we go. Okay, that actually did heal us that time. Since we have max health, and we won't be able to go any further, it just gives us one red heart. Okay, greater soul shard, no. Really? Spirit of Haggling? Take it. Just so that it doesn't appear on the astral. Let's go up. Ooh. Come on. There we go. We lost the spirit heart we already got, but I guess we got a uh, three-fourths of a red heart. Ooh. Wow, okay. Blessing on hit chance up. Woo! <laughs> Last chest of the game, probably. That doesn't come from a room spawn. Ooh. Master's Razor of Disruption. We're gonna have every proficiency on it. We're gonna have a super fast swing speed. That's not quite half. Uh, Spells Ignore Shields is m the main thing that I'm thinking about. Okay. I'm... No. Yes, the spell piercing. That's all I'm worried about. That mana regen is gonna be missed, but I think spell piercing trumps it just because... Like, this. Oh. 
Okay. Kind of regretting that now. Ooh. What's our damage on it? It's only 174 at this health. Okay, we're switching back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I would give you like a more interesting item to look at, but this is uh, actually very much worse. So I'm going to go pick up the slower heavy weapon. And hopefully you can forgive me for losing that much health. Just trying it out. Maybe we can get disruption later. I hope. <laughs> Alright. Woo! There we go. And boss fight. I think we're going to be fine. We have 324 melee damage. We have 181 spell damage on each hit. Wow. Okay, let's see how fast we can kill Humbaba. That was, uh, that was a really fast trip to Armored Health. the astral. That was really easy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad I switched back to this weapon because my mana regen is like insane. Astral. I really wish spells... I, I wish that spells would damage Spirit of the Ninja. Attack speed up. That's nice. Breath of Lysa, Beast Mode. Anyway, I wish spells would damage shields instead of just, like, not doing anything. Ooh. Or that we could get a shield. Wouldn't that be cool? Because that seems like an unfair advantage for them, that they have these weird magical immune to energy shields. Okay. Finally. <laughs> that was a very large group. Oh man, we're losing way more health than I can afford. There we go. My god. Wow, okay. Oh my god, armored health is so much better than regular health. Because... Armored health is effectively more damage that we can take, but... It doesn't get rid of the damage we have. Like, it doesn't count as healing a heart. So, we get to keep our damage bonus from our uh, passive. Let's take care of this, Alchemist. Okay. Lots of... Oh my god, is that the door? Where's the door? Oh, it's up here. I got scared for a second.
I wish you could hit them into their own spells too. I think that'd be a really cool tactic. Wow, was a. Is that already a boss fight? Wonderful. Oh my god, I want to see how fast this fight goes. Okay. Okay, where is he coming out? Oh. <laughs> Okay, two down. Where is he coming out? <laughs> Easiest late game maw fight ever. I'm gonna pick up that influence. There we go. Let's skip these in case there's a blacksmith. Nope, what is this? That's strong. Heal after killing a boss. Oh my god. And Breath of Gr Grand Bois. It's wonderful. Let's actually use this on this room so that we can steal some health, not lose it against these guys. I guess we're staying even, so there we go. Wow. <laughs> So now the late maw, the late burrower rather, has a chance to mess up our run. It's a very good chance. Oh. Oh, nice. Well done. Really? Okay, so what we do here is we use one and go back and pick up the other. I've never... Have I seen that pop out of a chest before? Because that's awesome. Our damage suffers a lot from that. We only deal 69, the perfect number, for, uh, for each hit we do. However, we can get our health really low and still be confident with this second blessing of Grand Bois. And we don't really need damage for the Burrower fight, so. Nice. Finally dead, huh? Give me back my damage. <laughs> oh, damage, where art thou? Did we kill him? Nope. Kill this one now. Ooh. Ooh, close. Please, right? Thank you. This spell is, like, super awesome. I would love to have a twig run with this weapon. Preferably on Chew Lane, actually. Because that way, the lower health we have, the more insane damage we could have. So we could have infinite machine gun, disruption, super high damage. Yeah. Ooh, more mana. That's nice. I was a little late on my response to that. I just... I had just processed what had what happened because I was busy drooling over the potential run that I was just 
working out in my head. Okay. That killed everyone? Okay. You say so. Dude, not everyone was dead. Okay, 21 keys. We have 148 spelled. Okay, it doesn't matter during this. All we need to do. Oh, none of them have barriers. That's so good. Really? Wow, we did it. Late burrower down. It's up here. <laughs> We're gonna take these hearts. Bearded sadist. Spirit of Shiva. Laser face. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Oh man. Where are you? Get down. And surprise! Oh, these spells, they're so strong. I feel like I like it because of the high damage that they deal now, because of my passive. And that's alright. There's a lot of things in this game that are only good because of a passive, so... Whoa. Thank you. Boom. Don't know how I'm hitting you. Just gonna keep it up though. So, oh, dodge right into it. That didn't shoot once. There we go. fighting let's find out oh my god this should be good oh <laughs> three volleys of that spell wow okay let's check for the blacksmith no 20% damage increase, so 162, 171. 
And with that much health, we have 127. Okay, I'm fine with that. This is a really, really good breath. However, after the next boss, we won't be able to take a breath with us. Well, we'll be able to take a breath with us, but only if we take it into the boss fight with us. So preferably, we'll take this with us. Otherwise, I would just come back and get it. I learned the hard way my first time through about that. All right. Oh, get out of there. Nice. Cleared out that room pretty well. I don't know if I got... Yeah, I got hurt. I fell into that sp the spikes that one time. The spikes aren't what hurt me, though. I got hurt before I fell into the spikes. Okay. Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> It's just so satisfying taking out those golems. Okay. Whoop. Please die. <laughs> I don't know why they're taking so long to die now. Probably it's because I have more health than before. Whoop. What's in here? Health? Nope. Influence. Really? The Seeker didn't help us out at all there? Okay, take those out. Thank you. Surprise! Oh man, I did not mean to lock onto him like that. Or blink to him, rather, to use the game's terms correctly. There we go. Let's go defeat the Hermit again. This time, this fight will be harder. Uh, well, th not this time, this fight will be harder. This fight will be harder than the rest of the bosses in this zone. Because he has such long invulnerability frames that we just can't do anything against. And a lot of dodging that we have to do that I'm honestly not super great at, so. Oh, come on. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, this is it. We did it! Oh my god, we're on our way to the final boss. Please tell me we beat it this time. Oh, the rocks came with us. Welcome back. <laughs> Spirit of the Savior, Guardian Angel. That has the potential to be awesome. Because since we have low health equals high damage, that basically gives us a period of invulner- like, not a period of invulnerability, but like an extra hit that we can take, and it doesn't heal us back up. So, basically, we have a whole lot of damage for a short amount of time. So maybe we can like burst the boss down during that period? Whoop. Here we go. Who's down there? Oh. 
Oh. Oh, come on. Thank you. Just cast a spell. Really? <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Oh, that'll clean him out. Ooh. Okay. Focus. Gotta make this count. Alright, one more room. And then the final boss fight. I cannot believe we made it this far. I was just like, you know what? We haven't played Memnon in a while. I feel like I should give him a little credit. He is, you know, the main character. Well, I don't know if there is a true main character to this. But he's like the Mario of this game, right? Thank you for the free parry. <laughs> Nice parry. That was actually me that time, not not a parry. Okay, boss fight. Our starting damage is 346 melee, 205 per spell hit. We almost have a full spirit track, that's pretty cool. And let's go. We do have a breath of Grand Bois. You've made it. This is the road's true end, and your death draws near for you, just another ant to be toyed with, until I grow bored and crush you. Ahem. You've grown complacent, too far removed from the world's problems, and I'm here to end your reign of destruction! Fool, you can accuse me of negligence, but not destro- Reign of it, negligence! Do not interrupt me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I feel like that's- his response was a little out of character for Chulain. You can- Huh. <laughs> Accuse me of negligence, but not destruction. Uh, yeah, I can't. You're all about destruction. You're chewing. Come on, man, get in character. Oh my god. Okay. We totally could have finished that. I was just really dumbstruck by how much damage we're dealing. Okay. Wow. Okay. So. Seems we may have been worried for nothing. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. There we go. Achievement. We'll see if it actually gives it to us. So many opportunities for torture wasted. A new age of justice begins. Don't get comfortable. I will have my revenge. Alright. We did it. Oh, the life aesthetic. Aesthetic? The life aesthetic. Alright. We got it. There we go. Last achievement down. Oh. Thanks for watching me through all those. That was, uh, it was getting pretty disheartening for a little while there, but... I'm glad we kept going, because I finally got it. I'll eventually platinum this game, and by platinum I mean get all the achievements. But all of the, like, interesting challenge runs are over, so I might just start beginning to play it, and just have regular runs where I just pick up random builds and try to make it interesting as I go, so... Oh, feels good. It feels good to, like, destroy the final boss like that. That was insane. Um... Yeah. So... 
Our highest damage wasn't even that high, it was 618. But like, our melee, like, that was probably a melee crit there at the end with uh, our 300 plus damage, that makes sense. But our highest damage was clearly from our spell, which was like, dealing, I don't know, like 200 damage per bolt, and it was shooting like 18 bolts per spell. I don't know, that was insane. That was that was a very fun run. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's it. The standard lock on lock. So, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. It really makes me feel good to see those likes climb. And if you have any ideas of what I can do in this series in the future, let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow will just be a normal run, though. So, um, for once, I can actually just play... <laughs> so, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.